Hello everyone, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I have a quick Divine Mask and Twin Flame read for you. And I also, I have a uh, painting behind me. I want to show you the artist information in case you're interested. Okay. That is Vladimir Mirovsky. I'm not sure how he pronounces his name. Okay. Um, he says at the bottom of his certificate, I dream my painting and then I paint my dream. And they're very beautiful. So if you're interested, his email was on that uh, shot that I just showed you. But in the meantime, you can enjoy it behind me. Today is uh, March 27, 2019. I am going to bring this up another time, but uh, definitely Isaac Newton was coming up in some comments I read from Riding the Beast. Dot com, writingthebeast.com, about 144,000. You might want to check that out because there's multiple definitions of it. And they were definitely leading me to some more information. So check that out if you'd like. And we're going to get right into it. And the movie that I watched last night was Bedtime Stories. And it was all about dreams that really come true in real life in this dimension. So it was pretty cool. So if you haven't seen that, that was kind of fun. More of a, along the lines of kids movies, it was Adam Sandler. Um, the Divine Masculine today was done at 1.01 p.m. And it was nice today. Uh, I woke up very differently today. I didn't do my usual routine first thing in the morning. Because there's some things that I had to order online that I had told my daughter and my son that I would send that I hadn't done yet, so I took care of that. And then my neighbor came by, which was a nice, pleasant surprise because she's usually working today and she had taken off. So she came by, we went for a long walk, which, pardon my appearance, but I was kind of out exercising. And we stopped by a neighbor's house who's been building a an addition. And he's a pretty new neighbor, so we didn't know him, so we got to meet him, and he offered his services to us, which was great, because his work is really wonderful. So you never know who, you know who you're going to meet, and I've been looking for someone uh, for a few odds and ends around the house that need to get done, and he would be perfect, and I know his work, because I've been watching him for months. So, this is just to show you, when you put it out there, your intention of what you need, it always comes back to you in time when it's time. So as we get into the read for the masculine, the major arcana for Syrian starseed were the, the card beneath the underlying energy was alchemy. So that was also major arcana, and I do use that in the read. Shadow, which is the devil. Alchemy is the temperance card in this deck. Abundance, which is the empress. Higher self, which is the high priestess. Justice, uh, indigo, which is the magician. And guidance, which is the empress. No, excuse me, is the hierophant. Abundance is the Empress, Guidance is the Hierophant, but they're both present here. Uh, the Emperor was in the Reed in the Minor Arcana, but not of the Major card. So both the, the Emperor and the Empress were here. There was one wand, two swords, two cups, uh, no pentacles whatsoever in this Reed today. And the only court card was the Knight of Swords, the Messenger of Truth, the Knight in Shining Armor. The only numbers that came up were two... 63, which is the Nine of Swords. I consider that the purging cycles. 65, which is the King of Pentacles. 11, which is Justice. 122, the sequence. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which for me now is showing me either the beginning of the cycle, the end of the cycle, or the middle of the cycle. This is the middle of the cycle. And it did come up in the read confirming that, that it's really important to stay at zero point in moderation. Also, the half moon is saying we're in a very good time right now because Actually, the half moon is a more of a stable place than the full moon or the new moon, as far as the energies. So the message and the coding were all around love today for the masculine. It was just love, 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 and having to alchemize and aid to divide purge cycles of emotions. Um, high C was coming up again, to so take extra vitamin C. High Kohan and also high C is a C, emotions, high emotions. When there's high emotions, you need to take care of yourself, okay? You need to alchemize or balance your energies when you go through purging cycles. And high, and high vitamin C is one of the ways they keep saying over and over again to help you as well as staying in your high vibration, high Kohan, okay? 
Use your high DNA vibration. Divine love comes together at the high moon. They're saying the high moon is the half moon, the calm seas. Okay? So new moon is not quite, you know, you don't have your footing quite yet. So you need to get into the middle of the cycle to gain your footing. But if you get too close to the full moon, then the emotions get out of hand again. So they're saying that your calmness is mid-moon, okay? Um, and it's funny because I get a lot of my message not in how many moons till this happens, but how many half moons. So it's been very prevalent. So for the masculine, it starts out with the underlying as the shadow, which is the devil. Okay. Uh, and beneath that was the alchemy card. Okay, like that showing. Okay, and this always looks to me like a peach pit underneath. And also um, apricot uh, kernels, because that's with the amygdalin, help for cancer treatments. Um, no regular medical doctor is going to tell you that, because they can't, because it's alternative medicine. But you can look that up, okay? Um, so the shadow, the shadow web, make, is a, there's a bold move here to detach from the world and using shadow work, okay? So the masculine learning to do this and use this energy to become more patient and balanced and detach from the dark forces, the dark forceful energies around him. Also Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, and Pisces were coming up with some of that dark energy around him. The prisoner divine feminine inner child is coming up here as waiting at the end of the bridge, like the Six of Cups little girl. She's waiting at the end of the 4D bridge with a bouquet of flowers, you know, kind of just fixing the flowers, waiting for the masculine to come around. She's waiting at the gate, which was so funny because when I went to that neighbor's, he invited us in and he had built a gate to his yard. So he had to literally walk through the gate today. And then he had us come into the sunroom that he's building. So it was very nice. He welcomed us in. And... Um, so it's like the Divine Feminine getting some flowers to put out for herself, for the High Priestess, overlooking new passions, which cause stress and purges. So the flowers can help balance that. And also just spending time out in the yard because you're grounding with nature. Uh, rubber stoppers were come up, coming up as well as florals, plants, fruits, and olive oil. The tail end of the sound of music. Watch out for busy bees. Busy bees and busy ants, I can, affirm, I can confirm about the busy ants because the ants brought a few of their friends in. So instead of my usual three ants, it's usually like three or four ants and I'm fine with that. But there was more like six or seven ants, so I had to take them all outside yesterday. And so, and then I feel bad because if there's, there's more than three ants, they stay in the sink, of course, and then they get, the, when the water turns on, I don't see them, they get hurt and I don't want to hurt them. But watch out for bees, busy bees, busy ants. Keep energy calm and positive because you reflect, okay? And then that's what comes in. Uh, clear blocks in the third eye and sacral, like I said the other day, was coming up again today. They cause stress and purges. Like you might, you know, look, you know, meditate and use your vision to see if there's anything in your third eye or your sacral energies, whether there's hooks or devices or anything that you might see in there that you can literally, with your intention, then pull out of your body and transmute with the violet ray, okay? So stay in the middle. Watch out for stingers being present. Um, but that's not fear. That's to, to be aware uh, where you are, because you may have gone into a little bit of your lower energy, I certainly have. Um, so it's saying to be present to that, because you might have drawn in something a little negative, but just bring your vibration right back out and be aware. And stay in the middle, stay at moderation at zero point, stay balanced. Expressing feelings openly about the mass and maybe seeing the feminines expressing, or he may be doing this himself now, expressing feelings openly about marriage, religion, establishment, and dumping attachments in a split uh, one big lie was coming up, a need for clarity, and pulling out Excalibur, or the truth. But the snakes keep coming back and sniffing around, and fakes are not revealing their true selves. So the, um, the masculine still may be struggling a little bit with that. Dark is orchestrating a meeting of high order. Only men of the Catholic order, 
calling on alchemists, but it may be too late. Lies have caught up with them. Dumping the goods or hot property before they get caught. So that's not just about the Catholic Church, but it's representing that there's some dark dealings that are coming out in the Catholic Church, and whether there's a fall of a specific priest or the church itself, that energy is definitely coming up here, but it's referring to energies around that kind of thing as well, so it doesn't just have to be around the Catholic Church. The devil made me do it, is the quote that came up right after that, someone having, um, like someone feeling like they need to dump the goods before they get caught, or having hot property before they're caught. Um, the devil made me do it, feeling extreme guilt due to du duplicity, avoiding the truth in order to stay balanced. So they thought in order to keep their balance, that they couldn't tell the truth because that would make everything out of hand, right? And they'd have to deal with that. So instead, they didn't to stay balanced, and now everything's going to be much worse than it would have if they had told the truth in the first place. Let your friends help you. Comes up as the underlying energy, and beneath that was past life relationships. Um, desperate, the masculine's definitely coming up as desperate to talk to the divine feminine, or at least express his inner, his inner pain that he's going through, that stress. Especially at full moons and at nights. Okay, when and then I was getting when all the world's asleep, the questions run so deep. We're such such a simple man. Won't you please, please tell me what to know? I know it sounds absurd. Please tell me who I am. Okay, so that was definitely coming up for, for the masculine. Um, the masculine and spirits connecting. A fear of the grim reaper. Or a Scorpio who will take his kids away. Conflict and karmic strong-arming tactics to stage a good catch while holding him by the hair. Or that's his mother, digging fingernails into his skin. While the Queen of Swords can't even look at him herself because that is her. So she, if, she, if you as Divine Feminine can't look at your Divine Masculine, it's because you can't look at yourself. So there's always something that reflects back that needs to be cleared. So the underlying energy signs here were Taurus upright, Cancer upright, and Pisces upright, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. Just don't know which direction they were coming up in the underlying energy, but they were definitely present here. Karmics and or Divine Masculines gloating as the Divine Feminine pays the price for lack of self-love. Flirting in altars and sleeping with her, the... the karmic, the queen of swords is a war widow. So the divine feminine is coming up as the war widow, looking past the mirror. So instead of looking in the mirror, she's looking past it so that she doesn't have to see the warrior, war hero, who left her behind. The truth leans on the table, pointing at the base. The start of the wound is what she must chase to clear. The dimples and birthmarks reflecting her wounds. So not only going within, but noticing on you, your dimples and your birthmarks are reflections of wounds from prior lives. I know that because I have a tiny little birthmark right in the middle of my back where I know I got shot in the Holocaust. So, and actually I know with my son too, he's got, he was definitely in the war too, and he's got like splattered birthmark all over the back of his um, calf, which I know are from, from war. So look at your birthmarks and feel into them to see what those wounds are from, as well as any dimples, because that is also a weakness in the muscle there. Okay. Uh, being used as a pin cushion, a flame. This is um, being used as a pin cushion, a flame, and a bell toll call to action. This is continuing on about the divine feminine and her reflecting her wounds, right? The Divine Masculine's got someone covering his back, so the fly balls won't hit him. But he didn't even know he was in a game and that he needed coverage. So someone might be covering his back because they may have placed him in a game that he didn't even know he was a part of. All right, so the effort, effort comes up for the Masculine to make the effort, which is 13 of the transformation. And then beneath that was creativity, which is number three, expressing yourself and coming together. Creative there's creative blocks for the masculine as well as sexual frustration. The queen of pentacles also. Um, so it could be for the masculine or the, and or the feminine and or the karmic. 
The Queen of Pentacles is coming up reversed here, so that could be any feminine in the masculine's life, including the Divine Feminine, counting sheep and erasing to start over. So they may have, be having trouble sleeping, um, but also now learning they don't have to keep going if things aren't working out the first time, like in starting your business or your website, you can always scratch it and start over. And this includes in a relationship. So the two of swords, two of swords in one heart cannot be removed. Healing around them, because they've been left in too long, and forgiving the ones who placed them there in this sham fight of competition for riches and fortune, the gold rush of life. Uninspired when ungrounded or greedy, the flock in the country has no idea she is bleeding, too busy performing to look better than the other one. All right, so when people are in that sham fight of life, uh, they don't notice what's going on around because they're so they're so into the, making themselves look better and in the midst of that that competition or that war, you know, just like playing sports. If you're in the middle of playing sports, you're not paying attention to the person who got hit on the sidelines because you're focused on your intent, right? So two swords and one heart cannot be removed, healing around them and forgiving the ones who place them there in this sham fight of competition for riches and fortune, the gold rush of life, uninspired when ungrounded or greedy, the flock in the country has no idea that she is bleeding, too busy performing to look better than the other one. So they're too busy, you know, trying to look good, you know, to keep up with the Joneses and all that kind of stuff. On the battlefield, you don't notice those who have died only the moment of how to stay alive. You don't have the luxury of counting sheep when love is a battlefield. The lies and sharpness come from blue eyes DNA. Control of every word, expressing feelings they were taught are for the game field only, playing ball and outdoor activities. Take it outside. Oh, and that shift just came in again, um, like on the airplane, where all of a sudden your ears pop. I just got that again. That's not usual, and that happened yesterday and today. So, you know, guys have always been taught to go out and get their feelings out on the field. But that was how men were taught and how to heal their wounds. But by, allowing, but by not allowing your feelings, well, I'm sorry, they're taught to heal their wounds, taking it out on the field but not by allowing their feelings. So they're not allowing their feelings, they're going out in sports to burn some of it off, right? Uh, burning them off on the field. And this actually does help to an extent. It may resolve surface wounds, but it does not bring up the deep original wounds, which will then keep producing new wounds of that, of that, that kind. The conflict one draws, the conflict in conflict, one draws their swords. The dark, the shadow, the lies told that were told. Stress and suffering are overlooked. If not an act of love, it's fear. And attacks come from brain wars, as within, so without. So if you're circling in your head in fear, then you will draw that into you as well. To love within is to be peaceful and joyful within is to love without in peace and joy. This is your truth, not to focus on punishment for your abuser, but healer, heal thyself. And spirits connecting with me. Let friends help, make an effort to really see each other. Live where you can be peaceful, not where you are keeping up with the Joneses and causing yourself stress and anxiety. That is not a peaceful within. So why be like them anyway? Is who they are actually, does that make you happy from day to day? Probably not. So recently is the Six of Wands, the Divine Masculine getting attention for dark conflict and fights. A sovereign ending it using attention, bringing light to the dark. The foundation is the messenger of truth with their 5D messages sent. Implementing frustrations and friction. A quick reverse to purge out any manipulations and feeling sorry for yourself. Any ungroundedness or need to learn. 
have more, the need to have more money or teach more to your kids. It's all a lie because you are perfect just as you are in this moment without any of that. Just love. That's the truth. So it's bringing up that uh, friction that I was talking about yesterday where even my energy that came up the other day where I was, you know, the liar, cheater, thief energies were coming up and my own energies of that were coming up. It was like a quick reverse, you know, to then turn forward again real quick to get any bubbles out or anything stuck in the wheel. Anything, any wounds, little wounds that are just kind of stuck in the process of coming out. It was kind of like a, a quick purge to call it, to trigger you on purpose to get this last little bit of crap out of you. Because all of that is a lie. Only love is the truth. Okay? The moment that you're in, that you're supposed to stay present in because you're perfect just as you are in this moment, there's nothing more that you need, will naturally lead to the next moment on its own. Centrally, it's all about rest and meditation. Okay, with the Four of Orbs, which is the Four of Swords. It's all about rest and meditation, relaxation, and sleep. The Queen of Swords says the worst is over. It's been a long death walk, guys. This awakening of ours of emotional fulfillment. The Divine Feminine abandoned up ahead and the Divine Masculine feeling left behind, alone with his light, buried under a bushel. The challenge being coming together with the Three of Chalices or the Three of Cups. Okay, coming together with others in joy, physically moving your body, passionately riding around, connecting emotions of lack of inspiration and kids with tantrums or sexual frustrations. The opportunity to commit to separation or heartbreak. The King of Pentacles makes a speech to help others awaken, to know joy as opposed to abandoned, rejected, alone, in a lie. Okay. So there may be some sudden jealousy of the masculine, of the Empress's abundance, with open heart, with insincere dysfunctional family and jealousy issues, this is the crowning the read is the abundance card, the empress. Her heart is open wide, okay? She's in her love space. Okay, and that's represented by coming together with friends and having true connections with people. Empress is abundance and heart open with, with but the masculine is with insincere dysfunctional family and jealousy issues Conceit due to insecurities and manipulation and cheats, using tools of illusion to compete for greatness through any means needed, lying, cheating, stealing, or just running away when you don't feel like dealing with it. Sham fam energy stealing, narcissistic karmics, and abusing and manipulating for reunion, and then coddling and sexual favors to loving man in separation. Uh, as Emperor is now hiding his face from the crowds to allow his bride the light, putting his flame aside to watch as he licks his karmic's wounds. Separated from twin to protect a loveless marriage all about money, manifesting dark intentions to ensure that ass out on the line, so to ensure it, to make sure it's okay, whether that's his ass or the karmic's that he paid a lot of money for, okay? So he's protecting himself from the Divine Feminine to ensure, you know, insurance has everything to do with money, okay? So it's ensuring his ass, his worth, his financial worth, or the worth of his karmic's ass and everything he's bought for her over the years. So soon is coming up as higher self. Higher self at work in injustice or an unfair situation the masculine impatient or losing temper easily when not using their intuition. Coming together to move passionately to walk away and go within in order to magnetize offers of money and or a new life from a family legacy. Or gossip comes into work, pushing him to walk away or within. Or family pays off the masculine to leave. Or to manipulate him to return to work after he's left. He's coming up, though, as the Two of Cups, okay? He's connected. He's seeing himself as two. He is two cups connected. He is not one, but two, seeing that he must not only live for him,
but his other half that's connected to him. Starting over in love and not settling this time, the hermit shedding light on this, that the wounded warrior must step it up. Lose the victim mentality. The masculine is no longer at war, no longer a soldier. He is only God's warrior. And spirit's connecting with me, warrior of love. The cards that came up for the masculine were stay optimistic, release your ex, playfulness, and worth waiting for. Around the divine masculine, her how he's seen is the justice card. Okay, divine justice. How he is seen is justice ringing, a rewind, reset by Empress and Abundance to bring out the sunshine, to expose more light on her emperor in control due to patience now and not ego. The masculine needs to clear blocks of indigo child with piercing blue eyes, stuck in emotions as prisoner of looking back and not being present at home with only superficial news, messages, talk. Divine Masculine, connect with your inner child and or your own kids deeply, not superficially. Who are they? High energy beings who have so much to teach you. They do not fit in the box of the old establishment. They are the groundbreakers to the new world, the one you want to live in, that world that you want for them they're the ones who are going to teach you how to get it. Love comes up here, and even more so for the masculine is intuition. Use your intuition. Stay connected to your higher self. Allow your kids to draw outside the lines. Third party walking away from establishment, commitments, contracts, and marriages that no longer serve. Getting attention for loveless connections at night, patient, or angel satisfied by healing and loving self first. Attention away from grief, to knowing and leading the journey to a new life without marital stress and anxiety. And then the movie High Anxiety comes up here. A manipulative past with out of control Leo or his own ego of arrogance and being seen as perfect for inspection. Walking away or within for the masculine without option, holding his tongue to work out the details of alignment, new perspectives, while hanging out and dropping all burdens in the aftermath of purging cycles. A message of love or innocent child defenseless to false light of the full moon energies that just passed. Okay, and this is the, uh, the blocks you need to clear. It's about the indigo child, not understanding the indigo child, whether it's the masculine's inner child or his own children. They are not normal children. They are higher energy beings. And they have a lot to teach you, and they don't fit into the old way of learning and establishment. Remember that a ricochet, a ricochet of a straight on energy comes right back at you. But the reflection of a ricochet at an angle is a crapshoot. And now you have no idea how that's going to come back to you. All right, so it's saying, just like the sun to the moon, when the sun reflects directly to the moon, it comes right back to the sun. But if you're looking at the light of the moon, like the full moon, it's coming to you on an angle. That's a ricochet on an angle. That's not direct. Okay, so you're going to, so are you going to be direct or are you going to have an angle going into it? If you see the light of the moon, that means indirect communication with lots of room for error or miscommunication. There is dark interference there. Why would you depend on that light as opposed to your own inner light or the light of the sun? So it's saying literally, stop using the full moon energy as the wise energy. It is not. It is the sun that is your wise energy and your own internal connection to the central sun that is your direct connect. Deliberation or bad decisions. Note they are one and the same waiting for new information in order to get clear when you just need to connect to your higher self to be, live, and offer true love served on a platter. And this is the end of the read there. So, all you need is love. Right? All you need is love. This is for the masculine. You don't need the, this comes up too, the middleman. 
shadow work and purging to alchemize patience and balance to send 5D messages of connection and justice, which are just truth and balance, of success and attention to negativity or rest and reflection, the challenge being third energy of higher self, indigo, inner child, psychic and strong manifester of empress, loving and abundant due to spirituality and release of the mind, the logical man who without heart reflects arrogance, not love. The Hierophant is a spiritual man of patience and love, a representation of God. Isn't that each one of us? You don't need a go-between to get to God. We each have a direct connect. Using a distributor, there are always distortions along the way. The shadow requires light, attention to be seen. The 5D messages come through in rest and meditation and relaxing walks, etc taking a bath, a hot sauna, to open the heart to abundance without third-party interference. Two, twins, connect to higher self, is a divine marriage. Justice for indigo child is to be freed from anxiety of the old rules and expectations or outcomes. So this is what we need to be teaching our children, our indigo children. They're not all indigos but the indigos are the rebels, they're the groundbreakers, so they're the first ones that we need to work with because they're the ones who are heading the way for the new world. The crystal children are the rebuilders and then the rainbow children are the ones who just spread love, okay? And spirit's connecting very strongly with me now, it's very important that we need to pay attention to our inner selves and depend on our inner selves for our connection, which is 3131, which is the five of wands, that competition, expansion, okay? to make sure you transmute all those energies and that the children need a new perspective. They don't learn by the old rules. They're high energy beings. They need to connect with their higher self themselves. They need to be taught that. They need to be taught meditation. All the children need to be taught meditation in school. It's so important. The old rules and expectations and the outcomes just don't apply anymore. Okay, so this was the uh, the uh, outcome or the solution card here at the end was guidance of the Hierophant with the brain wars behind it, okay? Don't use the middleman because there's distortion behind the middleman, okay? You are the direct connect. You are the, you are the, each piece of us is the God. We're all part of the whole, the one, and that's why we connect to higher self to connect to all of us, which you guys all know, Okay? All right, so let me just pull a few quick cards for the oracles. I don't want to make it too long because then none of the masculines want to watch any of the long videos and then they don't get the messages. All right, so for the Ascension deck, this is March 27, 2019 for everyone watching and the best and highest good of all is concerned. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? And, all right, who is it that we need to uh, touch base with today? I'm getting thoughts. All right. Okay. The bottom of the deck is 20, which is the Sphinx. Okay, Akashic Records. You have all the information in your own Akashic Records, which you can access through your higher self. So 20 is judgment, it's about making decisions, judgment, about hearing that call to action, but also in the negative, it's about deliberating and bad decisions because you're not connected to higher self. The affirmation is I connect with the God force within the Sphinx, all right? If you need answers to questions, go in to your higher self and connect with uh, your higher chakras to connect with Akashic Records. Uh, the card that came out, so important today, so I was just telling you, sun is your direct connect outside of yourself, okay? Not the moon, the sun's energy. It's number 10, that high vibration. The affirmation is I radiate golden light and take decisive action today, not indecisive. The sun in the, is the navel chakra of the universe. It radiates the divine masculine principles onto us. Choosing this card suggests the universe is calling on you to develop your qualities of decisive action, protecting the vulnerable, rational thinking, courage, and strength. Invoke the sun in order to light up your aura and fill you with renewed enthusiasm for life. This energy will enable you to help everyone feel welcome and empowered, which is an important ascension quality. 
Your guidance is to fill your aura with bright golden light. Be true to yourself and act decisively today. Okay? Which is nice, and it was just, it was representative of that when our neighbor welcomed us both in to come look inside their house. All right? Be out in the sun. Right? Isn't that why the farmer gets up at 4 a.m.? Because they live most of their life in the sun as opposed to the nighttime, which is for sleep. All right, so the other two cards that came up here are water, which I'm not going to read them. You can read them on the screen if you'd like. Okay? And the moon, which is 11. Okay, so water is... 15 of the devil energy, so the shadow work that we're talking about, and then 11 is justice. They both came up in the read today, water and the moon and the sun. Okay, we need to keep our water clean. I was saying too, um, the message I'm getting now is to, because I'm talking about focus on the sun, not the moon, they're saying, look what the moon does to the water. It makes it rise, right? So the full moon, that pressure of the moon causes emotions to expand. And it causes you, you know, it's the 28 days of the period cycle and all of those things. It makes your emotions go back and forth as opposed to keeping you balanced and straight. So it's saying mid-cycle is the best because the new moon you haven't quite gotten your footing yet. Um, but the, And then the end is too much emotion. So focus on the sun. Get mostly sun and, and, um, and uh, make more clear decisions, you know, mid-cycle. So, but not, you know, Mercury retrograde isn't a great time to make decisions, but you know what I mean. All right, so we got the sun, the moon, and the water. The water reacts based on the tension, the tension between the sun and the moon. And I'm just getting to just allow yourself to bask in the sun. You don't need that. You don't need to be right. And also in the 3D, you're supposed to follow the masculine lead. The feminine leads in the 5D, the, ma the masculine leads in the 3D, okay? That way there's always a leader, but you know what, where you're leading, okay? And I have to count how many cards came out here, too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So there's 19 cards, all right? So that's confirming what I'm telling you, the sun. It's all about the sun. And then we had one card and two cards. The masculine and the feminine, the sun, and then we have, and then what comes from sun of 19 with three cards is 22. It's the full. So just open your heart and take a leap of faith. Don't worry about all the other crap. Okay? Then we have the past life deck just keep your energy high too when you keep your energy high uh, there's much less distortion right if you need to purge purge it out and then just come right back to high energy don't beat yourself up about it. There's no reason for that. Everyone's going to purge now and then. That's normal. Okay. All right. So everyone again for from Thoth. He's actually kind of funny guy. All right. For uh, this March 27, 2019, for everyone watching, the best and highest good of all these concerned. <sighs> Take a deep breath. What do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Thoth. What do we need to know? messing with me <laughs> he could have done that forever and made me just kept keep shuffling 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 because he has a dry sense of humor okay um, Asia's at the bottom of the deck okay you know this is very harsh energy it's very interesting because my neighbor is oriental so this is coming up about the oriental culture which we ended up talking about on the way home with my my neighbor because um, they, they're very um, dedicated, hardworking people, but that's because their culture is so hard on them. Um, and spirit's connecting with me. And that's, you know, this is showing confidence, but there's no smile on this person's face. So is that an energy of love to you? 
okay? Sometimes we need to be not smiling because we need to stand in our truth, you know, if someone's coming at us with negative energy. But we don't need to be like that on a normal basis. That's not confidence. Confidence is knowing who you are and not needing to defend yourself. And you walk away if someone's harassing you, okay? Don't let the yellow fool you. It's saying that um, the sun and yellow are two separate things, okay? Because the color yellow in our world is flat and the sun is yellow due to energy behind it. It's the Christ light, okay? So that Christ consciousness, okay? The collective consciousness. It's not quite the same. Especially when there's harsh energies behind it, it's very flat. It's not 3B light, okay? That's what I'm getting from that. All right, so this is the first card coming out is angels reversed. And then we have two, so he's doing the same one and two. Um, it's always about masculine and feminine, okay? Uh, there's unrequited love and food and hunger, okay? So when you stay in a loveless relationship, there's always going to be starvation. All right, so you see, I'm going to show you the angel card upright just so you see the image, so you know what you're looking at reverse. So whatever you get for, for this is correct for you. The, well, one of the things I'm getting is that you don't need your angels because you have a direct connect. You're always allowed to call them in, but they can't come in without your permission. So if you need them, you have to call them in. But also that they're saying that you don't need us. You got it now. Especially if you've been on this journey for a long time, you have your direct connect. You, you can do everything that they can do for you. Anything I, you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, so it's bringing up the divine masculine and feminine dynamic. Oh, I'm also getting angels in the outfield, right? Because this is not the infield. It's the outfield. <laughs> I told you he's funny. So they're just they're just exaggerating that that they're in the outfield you you are your inner field and they're in the outfield in case you need it in case you need a catch far behind you okay um, but if you keep it close to zero point in moderation there's no reason for them they're saying if you let it get out of control then you may need to call them in okay so the unrequited love and food and hunger that starvation thing was uh, very strongly coming through here. She's very unhappy in this unrequited love card. When you're starving, you know, you're not a happy person. So it's also to make sure you eat because when your sugar drops, it makes you impatient. And when you eat unhealthy food and dirty water, um, it also contributes to unrequited love. Anything that doesn't make you feel good. Don't forget to feel yourself. Your intuition is feeling your body. It's feeling your connection. It's feeling what's bothering you, what's uncomfortable. What is your body telling you? And it's getting so clear for me. Some, sometimes now, like when I look at certain things, no matter what it is, I get a really disgusting, nauseous, like awful feeling. Like it's telling me instantly that's negative, right? That's not something you want to buy or, you know, whatever it is. So pay attention to what your body's telling you. And my stomach was just getting sour talking about that. But because I need to eat. <laughs> when you don't eat, it makes for a grumpy person, especially women are affected. And also within the relationship, if you're in a relationship or marriage, whatever it is, of unrequited love, then the starved feminine you know, there's going to be hatred that comes up there, honestly, is coming up from this message. Because they were, they're going to resent everything you do to control them because they're not happy. 
They're going to blame you for everything, even though it's not all your fault. And it's about learning to love yourself first. You can't depend on another to be your bread and water. That comes from within. You can't expect someone else to always feed you. You need to feed yourself. The feminines can no longer, the ones who have lived in that traditional marriage can no longer depend on them to do everything for them. And then those masculines can no longer defend, depend on the feminines to be the maid, right? So those traditional roles, it's not okay. You need to feed yourself in all aspects of yourself. What, what you need to make your body feel good, to make your soul feel good, is your responsibility, not anyone outside yourself. It's your responsibility to also verbalize to the other person what it is that you need. Even if that's not a romantic thing, it's still what you need to do. You need to communicate. Okay, so that seems pretty clear. And i got to count the cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, there's 18 cards here, okay? And that's coming up with this negative energy, <laughs> the moon, okay? So we've got the moon comes up with this negative energy. We don't need that. And the bottom of that... All right, the moon energy is coming up and the bottom of the card, the one that's showing is phobias. And phobias is representative of fears. If you're begging about a fear, then you're not meditating because you're not connecting to your inner self. You're, you're trying to pray outside yourself and that doesn't work because you're in fear. You have to be in love in your heart space in order to connect. And that's what the moon um, distorts that because you're looking outside yourself. That's what it's saying. So we have 18 and then the three other cards and the masculine and the feminine is 21, which is completion. We're getting rid of those energies. All right, and then we have journey of love. Journey of love, take another deep breath. For March 27, 2019, clear and aligned, filled with only beautiful organic love and diamond light. 327 2019 for everyone watching the best and highest good of all is concerned what do we need to know what do we need to learn and we're asking Thoth for his humor and his joy what do we need to know what is your guidance for us today? He's messing with me, I'm telling you he is. All right, the bottom of the deck is acceptance. Accept. It's 55. The truth is love. Accept. Okay, and this is the enchanted forest of the uh, the stories, like the bedtime stories I was telling you about that I watched last night. And look, the fairy tale come true in the 3D. So we have two. So the first two that came out, I'll show you. The cloak and the becoming, which is 34 and 50. Okay, those are the first two, the primary cards for you guys today. Then the second two we put out for us are uh, Earth Angel and Soft. They're 54 is Earth Angel and 47 is Soft. So it's very feminine energy. of the earth, Mother Earth. Don't forget the Empress is all about Mother Earth, the feminine Mother Earth. Then we have three cards, and then we have four, five cards. So two, two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so 12 is wisdom. That's the bulk that we have here. We have 12, 
5 is expansion, it's conflict, but it's also expansion. Allow the expansion, but stay as close to zero point as you can to keep it balanced and purge when you need to. So we have 12 and then 5, and then we have 3, which is of the Empress of Mother Earth, just like what I said, to make sure you ground. That's your feminine energy. Sun is your masculine energy, the Earth is your feminine energy. That's why the masculine needs to ground and the feminine needs the sun. All right, so 12, 17, 22, 24. Okay, and 24 is the end of the cycle. It's the Queen of Wands, which is Omega, and that came up in the stuff that I was looking up yesterday. It's the end of the karmics. Because remember, there's no end. We're continuous. We're ever-expanding. Let me just make sure I added this correctly. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, 12, 12 and 12. 2 and 2 are 4, 4 and 4 are 8. This is Thoth, because he's math, right? 8 and 8 are 16, 16 and 16 are 32. Inchworm, take it slow, a step at a time. Be the turtle, be the knight of pentacles, okay? There's no rush. Okay? And the bottom of this big wisdom clump is the Bride Offers Herself, 43, which is the Three of Cups coming together. The one that's on top of uh, the five of expanding is Shifting Universe, okay? And that's being expressed. That's the seven of the chariot and was to be expressed by my ear popping like I was on a plane, okay? Because the pressure's dropping, we're changing dimension. And then... Um, the three of Mother Earth, stay grounded. And then two and two. Two and two are four. Four and four are eight. Allow the tower energies too, because 16 keeps coming up with inchworm. Like the two and two, two and two are four when you come together as union, and four and four are eight. I stay balanced in union, so the eight on its side is, for me, is the two both balanced in union doing the dance. And then eight and eight are 16, so of course there's going to be tower moments when you come together. But allow it. And then there's grounding and integrating. And then 16 and 16, when you each have your towers, then you start to learn to be together, and you have 32, and you're on your way. You're leading the way on the journey. So, let's see here. We have, I'm just going to read the two from... Becoming in the cloak, 34, by the way, 54 of Earth Angel is the Page of Swords and 47 is the Seven of Cups, which is synchronicities and news messages. And then these are 34 is the Eight of Wands, or the Arrows of Love, and 50 is the Ten of Cups, which is that um, uh, ultimate emotional fulfillment. All right, so 34 is becoming. Yes, you're manifesting your divine purpose, yet what is happening now is just one of many inspired brushstrokes on the canvas of your life's work. You are the artist who paints with trust, instinctive and spontaneous, with faith in the process unfolding, you are not the painter using numbered squares who has a finished ver vision even before commencing the task with a, with a map for all steps of the journey. Your lack of plan renders you open and receptive to divine direction. You're capable of being moved by spirit. You're a brave adventurer. So celebrate what you're creating now and realize that it is a step in your major work of divine art, this life of yours, not to be planned, but to be experienced. Stroke after stroke, step after step, you shall witness the picture coming to life. It may not be what you be it may not be what you expected, but it will be the most beautiful, extraordinary creation. This oracle brings you comfort that you are blossoming and each petal unfolding is another step closer to your ultimate divine fulfillment. There is a message here too that a relationship or project you're keen to move forward will bloom in its own unique way. Give it breathing room and be willing to let it become what it seeks to be. Even without a clear direction or plan, sometimes even because of that, there's an inner plan that can come to fruition. And the poem reads, Take heed, my friend, for time is ticking fast. Illusion grand and hopes this dream will last. Such memories we keep for days to come. 
a looking glass that only shows what's done. It would be sad to think there's nothing more, a well-worn path reflecting what's in store. God's gift was not that days would be the same. Each dawn's first light would sing a fresh refrain of light and cloud and spears connecting to bathe the earth's surprise, the feminine surprise. The change of foot to stop would be unwise. A palette rich awaits the artist's brush, creating life at one with God's soft touch. Okay? Becoming. You're becoming you. Just allow it. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with who you are in this moment. Your next moment will take you to that. So the cloak says, number 50, around you there's a cloak of your own creation. Perhaps it has served you for a time, an invisible form of protection, as a way to claim needed solitude, as a way to retreat inside to find out what you truly feel, what you truly need, to find yourself after being lost in an ocean of thought and emotion, not always your own. Yet the time is fast approaching when you will no longer require that cloak. You have attained an integration within, a knowledge of self that makes it possible for you to connect with the world, with others, in a way that does not leave you lost and struggling to find yourself. You have learned how to hold yourself. You have learned how to do this well enough that you can successfully hold yourself and hold another too. You don't have to push the world away. You can invite it in and play. The message that this oracle brings to you is that you can safely release the forms of security that you once held. You do not have to abandon your boundaries with others. Rather, your boundaries are so functional that you can enter into relationships with more openness, trusting that your boundary will naturally assert itself when necessary, giving you the connection to yourself that you need, when you need it, without having to withdraw from relationship entirely. It is time to trust your own boundaries and practice letting them help you whilst engaging actively in deeper relationship. You'll have fun. And it just says, loneliness is like a ship in full sail with no wind and no place to go. Okay? But remember, you always have within to go. Within to go. <laughs> you always have within to go. Like you can always connect to your higher self. Within to go. Perfect. Since indigo was very much a part of this read. All right. So I have to show you the pics, and all right. So this is the basic read from today for the Divine Masculine Twin Flame. And then here is the full read. Make sure you drink your water, get your rest, and rise and be loved, guys. Bye.